Glad to know you're still with us. The freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, independence of the judiciary and respect for the rule of law are the main features of a democracy. However, many instances have shown that these are still absent in our nation as of this year. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, doesn't think so as he has stated that Nigeria has made significant progress over the last 20 years since the country's return to democracy in 1999. Do our leaders really believe this? Well, to share your thoughts on the program, I still uh, my guest from the previous uh, segment. Thank you very much for staying on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Me. Let me start with you this time. Do you agree that we have made significant progress in the past 20 years? I would um, totally agree with that. We have made signif significant progress. We are not where we were 20 years ago. Uh, we've, um, we've grown, and that's the beauty of democracy. We should never at this stage compare democracy with that of the U.S., with that of um, U.K., with, you know? Can I just we, ask, before I move on to her, in what aspects of our democracy would you highlight and quickly, without a thought, and say this is the part of our democracy that has grown? Transitions of government. Okay. We've, um, we've achieved that that. Uh, then the consciousness of the people to democracy, we, we have it now. We're talking about elections, everybody's following everything. It might go away, it might not go away, but then there's more consciousness. And um, I wouldn't be surprised that in the next election, the voters' turnout would probably be more than in the past. Of course, um, there's still a lot to be done. covered, to be done. But we're not where we we were. I mean, uh, I mean, it, 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 we, we've gone really far from where we were. Obi, I would disagree with him. The only thing we have, thank God, is we still have a, a practicing democracy. We're still practicing democracy. But by now, 20 years later, all these electoral practices, all these ballot boxing snatching, all these things, by now we would have thought that the laws that were put in place to make, to make them very punitive for people to do it, that the laws would have clamped down on used few people for scapegoat so that they would not be happening there. And then the nature of the, of the um, new laws that they are bringing, in, in the house leaves me aghast, like the social media bill. That should not even have entered there at all. But aside from these, mm -hmm. 20 years is quite a while. That's like two decades yes, of it's practicing two decades. democracy. Yes. Um, you don't think there is any aspect that has really seen some improvement let's um... now um the the aspect that has seen some improvement is people are now becoming more aware and people are now getting is that a tangible form of democracy no it is it, democracy is um for the um, government, for government of people for the people, people. Uh -huh. so the people are the ones that run the engine of democracy we never knew we could we we mattered but now, with the advent of social media and all these things, people have now realized, oh, if a policeman attacks you there, you just put it on social media, it goes viral, the policeman is dealt with. So we've now, we've now started awakening to our past, but we are not yet in full awareness of the extent of the past we have. All right, let, let's take a look at some parts of that statement. Uh, Lawan said, representation, appropriation, and legislation are critical to good governance. Mm -hmm. According to him, uh, these virtues are enshrined in a democratic setup, which we Nigerians have experienced in the last 20 years. The, word I want to, the words rather are representation, appropriation, and legislation. Have we really been enjoying this? as a nation. The bottom line is, um, I would also want us to know that um, we've had just four presidents. We're talking 20 years, but in that 20 years, we've had four presidents. It's just like four years. Uh, because um, whatever policy somebody, when you talk about the likes of um, US, we are talking about 40 something. No, 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 no. I, I need also, uh, before you mm. go ahead and make, you know, other so, analogies, I would appreciate if you look at this. representation and appropriation 
of a uh, legislative um, yes because times without number the appropriation of resources had been questioned uh, we've had activists come out to question hacks of the government and this is what um, democracy is about uh, we we saw the out, the outcry against how Shore was detained you understand that's democracy in um, in a dictatorial kind of government that wouldn't have even happened at all so we we we're still very young but we must not we must not take away the fact that we're not where we were 20 years ago I'll take you to another question, same uh, speech from mm. Luan. He identified uh, tools of democracy as the mm. constitution, political parties, and electionary uh, process. Uh, he also noted that any democracy that seeks to grow must ensure that these sectors work seamlessly. Mm. How can we achieve this? Because there is no point asking where we are with the electionary process. We still have a lot to do. Uh, this the lock case we talked the case we talked about mm. earlier is one um, in point. What do we need to do to achieve a better electioneering process? Sorry, can I answer part of his question? And, and then do that quickly. Be, be, um, representation. They still have not implemented the, the, what was discussed at the Beijing conference about women. Even they haven't done it. Please explain what you mean. The Beijing conference, um, in the government, there should be a certain percentage, percentage of yeah. women. And um, most, most a lot of countries now are, are, have set ads that says that on, on, in parliament there should be a certain amount of uh, um, women representatives But I had a woman ready to take this place. I was watching a clip from The Advocate. Um, mm. Advocate is a program here on PLOS TV Africa. Mm. Um, it comes up every week. You should try and uh, catch that mm. one. The One of the guests there was talking about how, how prepared are women really to take up that responsibility? Give, why don't they pass the law and now see how prepared they are? Then secondly, going back to constitutional, the constitutional, the constitution we have is 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 like a truck, a Mulwet truck. Remember Mulwet truck? Yeah, that, for that, Lagos is a bus service yes, in Lagos State. That yeah. um, is very rugged. That we, we 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 that you're pushing along. We're pushing along, and this is we're in 2020. We need we need a locomotive. We need one of these fast. Yeah, things. yeah. He, he said something about uh, working to ensure timely passage of the electoral reform um, amendment bill as well as the bill to amend the Nigerian 1999 constitution. Yes, the constitution so. should be overhauled. Do you see that happening in this ninth assembly? Well, they've said it. Let's pray they do it. Your thoughts, please. Yeah, like she said, they've said it. I mean, the fact that it's um, been said. Last the, year, this we, bill we, is last, not fresh. Last, yeah, last year we, we, we saw for the first time in many years uh, the budget was passed. Uh, I mean... Within the Within, January, December yeah, Exactly. Cycle. So, democracy is growing in Nigeria. It's growing. Yes, maybe at a snail speed, but we are so far from where we're coming from. Okay. Um, there's something, uh, when we talk about democracy in this country, uh, we look at uh, maybe the politics of it. Uh, there is one integral part, and that's the welfare of the people who are supposed to be enjoying the governance that's been, or leadership that's been provided mm -hmm. via politics. And Nigeria, as developed as we claim to be now, we are the poverty capital of the world. We still have over 80% of this country's population living in almost abject poverty. So when you just oppose that with a conversation about democracy, what comes to your mind? I would say uh, on that note, we as the populace, we have a lot to do uh, in respect of um, those we vote. We need to be more sensitive, whether you like it or not. Uh, the average person in the political office today bought his way there because those who actually voted don't even know who they voted. But if you, if you consider the percentage of you know? poverty, yeah. to be honest, the, that, that's the, where the I was actually the, going yeah. to. Would you say we've really moved forward in our democracy? If, if more than half of the population Governance is about bettering the lives of the people who are recipients. I think to answer that, um, like they would always say, Rome was not built in a day. We have um, 
we we look we're looking inward more now in terms of building our economy. That's a plus. Those are the things that would eventually uh, eradicate poverty. You now see a lot of young guys going into farming. We are seeing more entrepreneurs coming up, and um, this. This, this thing will be gradual. It's not just going to happen overnight. It's going to be gradual. And that step, that's, I mean, the, the ignition has been tuned on. And um, over time, with time, we know we would get there. We should also put into factor that um, our budget is, um, I, I, I mean, do you know that Nigeria's budget is about, if not, probably not even a hope to, the uh, budget of a university, of one university in, in the US. And look at our population. You understand? We call this money, it looks so big, so. Uh, uh, well, for people who are poor, you, that's you, a you huge a lot of it's, money. It's huge. So, all these factors <laughs> yeah. uh, should also be because we have to look at our GDP. We have to look, I mean, when we share this uh, budget and uh, how it's going to be shared evenly. The, the good thing is we're already looking in water. Okay, let's go because of better. the limited time. Mm -hmm. I need us to catch as many areas as we can. The vexed issue of corruption in this country. Uh, successive governments have come up to say, we're fighting corruption, we're fighting corruption. Where are we in this democratic environment we claim to be practicing? Well, I, I wish I were working in the FCC. I would have given you a very good answer. No, based on what we see, not just the Buhari administration. Mm -hmm. the, the analysis here is um, Lawan saying 20 years there's been some progress. So in the fight against corruption, mm -hmm. uh, which hasn't been all the way for all the 20 mm -hmm, years, but yeah. it's a substantial part of it, we've talked about fighting corruption. Where are we? Well, one of the best things, the organizations we set up in Nigeria is the EFCC. I must give it to them. And um, the FCC is working. But you see, the judiciary is slow because there are not enough judges per, per, per capita, per human being. Do you understand? So the judiciary is slow. So a, 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 a trial that should take two years ends up taking 10 years, 12 years. By that time, witnesses have died, um, evidences have gone astray, and then it looks as if the EFCC is doing a bad job. But I, I commend them on the fight against corruption. But never, nevertheless, on the other hand of the other side of it, there are people that are saying that the, the fight against corruption is selective. Well, at least there's some mm. measures have been yes, taken yes. that is commendable. Mm. Mm. I, I'm hopeful as well as you guys. Thank I'm, you very much. I'm very much. optimistic about Nigeria. <laughs> For your thoughts. I'm very optimistic. I am very too. Much. That's why we are having this yeah. conversation. Every I'm very, very, very optimistic. Um, very, very optimistic. I know in the next few years Nigeria will turn will be around. Better. I know I, I mean my prediction for Nigeria when um, I mean when when Buhari was contesting I was never seen him as the Messiah. I only saw him as a John the Baptist that would bring in uh, Jesus eventually. I okay. wouldn't be surprised we would get things right maybe in the next two political... Mm. Uh, will God keeping us, we will be here yeah, to see all of it. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much for you. your time you. on the it's program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll take our plus report now. And when we return, I'll give my take. Just stay with us. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has read the Riot Act to foreign diplomats in the country. The minister, Geoffrey Oyema, warned members of the diplomatic community in Abuja to respect laid down rules of engagement, stop direct interaction with the presidency without the ministry's approval, and shun traveling to endangered hotspots in the country without direct approval. Oyema urged the diplomats to take advantage of available channels of communication by the ministry, saying the foreign ministry is available to render support. We have also cases of, um, um, you know, some of the diplomats um, making contact directly with the presidency and other maybe uh, agencies and uh, state level. Uh, we would prefer that, um, you know, your first contact should be the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs to facilitate uh, some of those contacts for you. And uh, this is just uh, for you to uh, respect uh, at all times all the, the diplomatic uh, protocols. Where there might be um, 
issues with the uh, within the ministry in terms of getting responses or getting things done. Um, you know, you can always upscale your engagement with the ministry to the permanent secretary, the honourable minister of state, or or myself. So in my teen years, when I was in the secondary school, we hear democracy is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. For me, there hasn't been a people's choice in as many years. And recent events make a mockery of the term as used in this country of ours. My take tonight is no, we really haven't made enough progress to celebrate. Our leaders should stop patting themselves in the back and get to work, changing the narrative so that in years to come, the people and not them will raise their hands and say, indeed, Nigeria is a democratic society. That's my take. Thank you for your time with us tonight. As we wrap up, be reminded to find some time for self-care this weekend. Bye for now.